Hey, what's up everybody? It's Furious Francis over here from PlayerEssence.com and I've just been, it's kind of a slow day uh, today for news. So what I wanted to do was put together a little fan feedback. And basically what fan feedback is, is any story that I put up on my website and I see a really good comment or somebody that's really providing good feedback for a company or whatever the subject topic is, I'll go ahead and give them a shout out and I'll read what they say and kind of give my ideas why I agree or disagree. It's going to be both sides of the, uh, the coin here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so on the article here on PlayerEssence.com, Square Enix finally admits long development periods are dishonest and unprofitable. And yes, it's about damn time they realize that it is um, long development periods are not good. For There's fans that have basically quit on Final Fantasy uh, versus 13. They don't. They think it's vaporware. So yeah, this, this is not good stuff. So it looks like Square Enix is going to change that. Um, go on the art. I'll link the article in the description below. Um, but let's just go ahead and get to what um, Tim G 57867 said. I really like what he said here. I'm going to go ahead and read off uh, his list. He said steps steps for what I feel can make the Square Enix come back. He said number one. Only devote 10 to 15 percent of your resources to mobile. So he's basically saying, you know, although they have mobile games that they have in development, you shouldn't be putting so much into mobile. So it should be something that's that's there and that has a presence, but not huge. Number two, get Final Fantasy Versus 13 out already and make it available on all current and next generation platforming platforms, excluding the Wii and handheld. So I also agree with this. Final Fantasy Versus 13 needs to come out. They need to get that game out. It will sell. Um, as far as next gen versions, I don't know. That's way. That's a lot of time and development. I think putting it out on the PS3 360 and um, Wii U, possibly Wii U, but definitely just getting that game out on the PS3 would be the first step. So, I mean, they need to just get the game out on the PS3. Other versions could come down the lines in like ultimate versions or um, collectors or, um, you know, extra versions or whatever the case may be when they add stuff to it. So, um, but definitely getting Final Fantasy Versus 13 out on the PS3 needs to be a top priority. Number three, Kingdom Hearts 3 out on the Wii U, PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360. Another thing, uh, you know, relating back to the last one, just basically get these big games out that they needed to get. I mean, if you realize, other than Final Fantasy 13, um, Square didn't really put out major RPGs on the current generation systems. I mean, Infinite and Discovery, that game sucks, Blast Remnant, all those botched 360 um, games were horrible. Final Fantasy 13 was the only true RPG that they put out just because of the time it takes to make these games and Square Enix's mismanagement of funds and MMOs and other stuff like that, which we'll get to in a little bit. Number four, stop releasing so many Final Fantasy games exclusive to Sony. They aren't as unstoppable as they used to be. Show Nintendo some respect. Iwata has done more than enough to amend for Yamauchi's blunders, and I agree with this 100%. They need to stop catering for the PS3, which they, you know, which they kind of stopped with, um, with Final Fantasy 13. But as far as like the Kingdom Hearts games go, like, you know, Sony was all about Kingdom Hearts on the PS2, Final Fantasy was on PS2, you know, now with the PS3, 360, Wii U, um, PS4, they need to start definitely making more multi-platform titles. They, they can't hold to that PS2 type era. I mean, it's different. And we all know that, you know, Yamauchi and, um, Square Enix had an issue with as far as with Final Fantasy 7 not coming to the N64 and them kind of going behind their back blah 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 that's history and yeah he's right Iwata has done more than enough I mean look what they're doing with uh, what's it called Bravely Default Flying Fairy how they're getting that game localizing that game for them paying for it so um, it's time it's time for them to move on it's time for them to make games on the Wii U and on the PS4 um, and on the PS3 for an equal uh, distribution of, of the games Definitely agree with that one. Number five, collaborate with Nintendo, specifically Monolith Soft and Intelligent Systems to make a new Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy spinoff. This has to happen. This has to happen. We need to see Monolith Soft work with Square Enix. I mean, I know they might not be on the best terms just because of what happened with Monolith Soft and Square Enix. Um, but either with Intelligent Systems, definitely they need to make a new Dragon Quest game with them because what they've done with Dragon Quest, as far as... Um, the 
the the MMO. It's horrible. It's just not a good game. It's just not a. It's it's a good Dragon Quest, but it's not a good structure to have an MMO for Dragon Quest. The game bombed at retail. Bombed on the. I mean, for the Wii, for how big the franchise is, it's a bomb. You know, Japanese players don't want to spend money on. They already paid for internet. They don't want to have to spend another more money for for Dragon Quest MMO. The 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 3DS remake sold way better than the Dragon Quest MMO, and it it, it only been out for a couple of months. You know, so. That's a big blunder on them. Collaborate with Nintendo. Get a new Dragon Quest out. Um, single player experience on the Wii U. Get it out as fast as possible. Of course, make it quality, but you need to start working on that, definitely. All right. Number six, no more MMOs. 100% agree. Nobody's responded to the MMOs. Final Fantasy XI on the Xbox 360 did not break a million units. Final Fantasy XIV on the PC has been getting horrible reviews. The game was broken. They have to relaunch it. Final Fantasy XIV on the PS3 is going to be a bust. Nobody wants to play your MMOs. Final or uh, Dragon Quest MMOs suck. Nobody wants to play that. So yes, 100% agree. They need to stop with these MMOs. Number seven, get more games on the 3DS and 3DS eShop. Wii U eShop has potential as well. Yes, I do agree with that. They do need to get more content out on the 3DS and 3DS eShop. Capcom is over there making a killing on their old games. Definitely getting Final Fantasy, getting some of those old games on the 3DS eShop can make you guys money for relatively cheap. I agree. A remake of Final Fantasy VI would be nice. So, on the on the three yes they did that for the ds and they made plenty of revenue so getting back to your bread and butter would be very good on this point number eight sell your western ips that's the only way you'll make money off them um yes square Enix has also put said that tomb raider um sweeping dogs hitman absolution uh, all of those games did not hit their sales projections and they take a lot to develop. Yes, Western games take a lot more money to develop than um, than the Eastern games for the most part. Uh, Final Fantasy might take just as much, but as far as in general with the marketing and promotion and what you have to pay them, uh, yes, uh, Square Enix needs to definitely get rid of Hitman and definitely get Sleeping Dogs needs to just, I don't know, maybe they can make a franchise out of it, but... In my opinion, they should just 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 trash it and Hitman for sure. Tomb Raider is a weird situation because Tomb Raider can be very good and Tomb Raider sold very well. It's just it takes so much money to do. I think what they need to do is take the franchise and they need to make it. They need to make it more to where it can sell in Japan because the sales in Japan weren't very good. So I mean, they're catering to the American audience. They need to maybe twist it or take it, make put a little bit different edge on it to where it can sell more maybe. Maybe uh, cut down the cinematics and the production value of, of, of that atmosphere, which costs a lot of money, and make it more gameplay oriented uh, just to cut down on the, the cost of the game. So I, I agree with most of the Western IPs. Uh, Tomb Raider might be, uh, they just might need to rework things a little bit. Number nine, coll uh, collaborate with Nintendo and make a new Mario RPG. I've been saying this for years Super Mario RPG 2 needs to happen. 3DS, perfect. Wii U eShop, perfect. Whatever they feel like doing, I don't care, but it needs to happen. Uh, number 10, make Final Fantasy XV a revamped adventure with a character with lots of personality, Western approachability, and non-linearity. Um, yes, I agree. Final Fantasy XV needs to, it needs to go back to, to, to the roots. It needs to go back to like Final Fantasy VII. People in Japan loved it, people in Europe loved it, people in Australia loved it, people in everywhere. Cloud, you can easily relate to him. He was Japanese, but then he looked cool for the Americans and Europeans as, uh, as well. So you need to get back to that style. You need to get back to that. Final Fantasy XIII, I think, has an, um, an approachable character. Um, Lightning is cool, I, she, but she's not as popular as... Um, as Cloud or some of the previous heroes in the Final Fantasy universe. So they need to get back to that uh, westernized. And as far as the other stuff, lots of personality, things like that, approachability. Yeah, I agree. And those are the type of things that can put Final Fantasy uh, back on the map. Because Final Fantasy is basically um, it's somewhat tanked, you know, since the PS2, the PS1 and PS2 days. All right. And for a bonus, he uh, Tim says... Collaborate with Sony and make an exclusive game for the Vita and, and market the hell out of it. Um, yeah, I agree. An exclusive game for the Vita would really help the Vita in, in Japan. And I think that the Vita can produce some really cool Japanese RPGs. I'm just waiting for all of them to come out. They have Soul Sacrifice. They have a couple of other stuff. But they need more. The 3DS still beats it in that realm. So they need to have more Japanese RPGs. Collaborating with 
uh, Sony to make not a huge scale RPG that's going to cost all this money, but a, you know, normal, decent sized RPG that they can get out there and market it uh, to help sell Vitas. That would be great. I agree with that. Um, and of course, if the ending says, I doubt any of this will happen. Um, Tim, I just want to thank you for writing that post on the website. It is great. And I agree with a lot of your points there. And remember, if you guys have any comments that you guys want to put, please put them in the comment section below. Let me know. Continue to go to Player Essence. And if you have something that you want to say on a certain article, say it there. And if I find that it's good enough, I will put it on the next fan reaction. All right. Once again, my name is Furious Francis. And make sure you check out my new channel, the Furious Francis channel, which I will also link in the description below. All right, then we'll see you guys later. Peace.